Sparks. I'm Stacy. And I'm Jeff, husband of the boss. We're here seeking $200,000 in exchange for 5% equity in our company. Oh. Sharks, do you want to know a dirty little secret? In yes. the U.S., millions of pounds of underwear end up in landfill every single day. And to top it off, most of our clothes are made with plastic-based fabrics. That's only bad for our bodies. But bad for the earth. So what if I told you we could turn this into this? Sharks. Wow. Woo! <laughs> I'm with the, uh, those real flowers. Wow, but there's more. What? <laughs> Shark say hello to Kent. The world's first verified compostable underwear. That's 100% oh. plastic free. Uh, and 100% organic. So when their time is up, you can literally plant, plant your, your pants. pants. Wow. Just pop them in the compost, wow. and in only 90 days, they turn into nutrient-rich soil. Our briefs, when composted, actually remove carbon and help reverse climate change. And best of all, our trade secret product design actually makes them stronger. <laughs> and softer than conventional underwear. So, Sharks, who's ready to revolutionize the apparel industry as we know it and help us turn fashion into fertilizer? <laughs> Woo! All right, all right. I mean, look, people say that, that old uh, saying of... Well, I got all underwear that's older than you, and um, and I hate to say it, but that, that is true uh, probably for me as well. And... With that said, you know, it makes sense that we should be trying to eliminate those uh, plastics so that underwear can't last as long as, uh, as, as, as somebody is alive. Um, I, wow. I, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a great way to turn something on the head. Look, you look at uh, where you're at, right, what you're doing, what you're good at, and you you take that and you you identify the problem, you you find an, a niche or a niche, and then you go and you attack it with, uh, well, apparently with science, because uh, I'm sure it didn't happen by accident that they found all the materials that they would need to make it not only compostable but softer and 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 stronger. Uh, but I'm kind of curious as how long will that under like will it fall apart? Uh, on its own so you couldn't necessarily have it as long and also what's the energy cost to make that versus uh the regular uh, traditional underwear uh the reason i ask is because if you look at paper straws paper straws actually take i think upwards of three times check you check check me if i'm wrong but i believe it's like three times the amount of energy to make one paper straw than it is to make uh one plastic straw uh, with that said, I've seen a lot of these compost, compostable, compostable uh, blue straws that we've been getting. Uh, they're they're like plastic like, which is better uh, for for the user experience, um, but but at the same time better for the environment. But I don't know how much energy those use. That's that's the real question. And we're here for Shark Tank Live. How about that? This is something different. So I uh, I thought I'd get you you know dressed up a little bit, change out the camera lens, and here to have a great time. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, the all three, I guess three or four pitches that are going to happen here tonight. So make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss all of those posting tonight. As well as uh, stay tuned to the end because we're going to check out Kent's website and see we'll see here if they uh, they get a deal here. So and believe it or not, the soil in your flower pot is actually Kent composted undies. This is from the cool. underwear. Wow. Yes. wow. In here. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So they feel nice. They feel yeah. like cotton underwear. They do. Very stretchy. They, they yep. feel very but good. Get, very they comfortable. actually feel yeah. a little bit thicker than what I expected. Yeah. yeah they're stronger nice. and thicker than what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, let me ask you, Jeff and Stacy. Uh, you know you're a part of history. This is the first Shark Tank live ever, and you are the first. So, are you nervous? Um, nervous, excited, just thrilled, and honored to be here. Wow. Yeah. yeah, honored. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. So, the, how did you come up with this idea? Well, I spent about 10 years in the fashion industry and noticed that even sustainable fashion brands combated two big problems. One was landfill waste at the end of product life cycle, and two was microplastics. So despite using responsible materials, spandex, nylon, elastic polyester, still heavily used in fashion, particularly underwear. 
And I myself couldn't find 100% natural underwear, nor could my friends. Wow. So mm. how is Kent uh, fully compostable, and how is it different from regular cotton underwear? Yeah. Well, it's a our, we have a trade secret product design, as we mentioned. So uh, or, organic Pima cotton is a big majority of that. But to give it its lactic qualities, that's the trade secret. Um, compost, as you may not, may, maybe not everyone in America knows, it's a man-made process, right? So it's not just like throw it in the dirt, right? You, compost is something you have to kind of manage and, mm -hmm. and, and deal with in your backyard, usually. Um, mm -hmm. But basically, at the end of life, you hopefully a long life, because it's a very high-quality product, so it's not... <laughs> Uh, a lot of times people think uh, compostable means disposable. That's a misperception. Yep. Um, so after a long life, mm. you will put it in your compost, give it a few turns, and in about 90 days, it'll break down into what you see there. So what is a that's, that's Okay, before we go any further, like, so I've never, uh, well, I have some experience with the, uh, com composting. Uh, back in, like, grade school, we had a compost uh thing in the back of our school um and we would you know add stuff to that and do like the 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 turnover and stuff but uh, i i think that that right there that key that stacy just point or uh, i'm sorry that jeff just pointed out um is really tough like the getting past the psyche of compostable means disposable it means cheap means thin uh means i'm basically wearing like a piece of paper and uh that has like seeds in it or something like uh, i've seen those uh business cards that are actually plantable like you you're supposed to like it has seeds baked in you put it in like a little bit of dirt or something or in a cup you pour some water on it and like flowers will grow right out of the out of the business card which uh i i think is a really neat i don't know how much those cost but that's a, i mean to me that's a pretty neat idea because it's yeah, uh, having business cards is neat and all, but like in the day and age of cell phones, people put things in their cell phone, you Google things, having that card is nice to have as a reminder, and then you get some nice flowers out of it versus just ending up in my drawer or in a stack of business cards I have uh, somewhere upstairs in my old office. Uh, you know, it, it's just not a great, I mean, I guess you could scan them or whatever, but I just never gotten around to anything like that. So uh, yeah, I, I, I think that that, key in the marketing is really important that it's high quality underwear and it's compo compostable versus it's compostable underwear and i bought it at the dollar store uh and i'll wear it like maybe two or three times uh maybe tops and then that's it and i gotta go buy some more what does it cost to make it what do you sell it for one pair uh, so one pair we sell for twenty to twenty-four dollars, depending if you, buy, if you buy. That's, wow. a, that's a little high. Is that, is that a lot that for underwear? Yeah. yeah, that's a lot for these <laughs> kind of underwear. It's yeah. slightly premium, but I will say it's all made right here in America. That's good. And it's eight dollars and seven cents. Wow. They are premium, but what about sales? How, what's your aggregate sales year to date? Uh, so year to date, we're at ninety nine thousand dollars. First cool. year, two wow. years ago, we did thirty thousand. Oh, Second year, oh, we did one hundred and twenty. Oh, wow. So did you and value this company at four million dollars? Well, yes. we're, we're on pace to do five hundred thousand yes no. this year. Yes, yes. 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 Right. how do you sell this? How do you sell it? Eighty five percent is D to C e commerce. Fifteen percent is through one wholesale partner, and we're oh. actually launching with another major retailer mm. later this uh, year with Nordstrom's. I have What's a question: If I cool. plant Kevin's underwear, will a cactus grow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nothing will grow. This is such a special Casey, what's cotton. What's your biggest challenge? How, how do I what's know it's not going to melt when I put it on? You, you can't have the, well, on you yeah. would. Guys, a question for you. I have another company that's compostable, Earth Brand. They make cups, right? Yeah. And you can't just throw it away, like you said. Yeah. What happens if you don't put it in the compost? So this is a great question. We know that everyone in America doesn't have access to a compost. Yeah. So we created the fashion industry's first compost take back program. So you can send your kind of who's end of life send, products send, back to us. Who's going to send their old underwear? Back yeah, to we're doing it. Right. I mean, it doing it. We only have ninety thousand dollars. Ninety thousand dollars in sales. I mean, that's what forty-five thousand units, right? You know, give or take. How many people have sent their underwear back? Not many because it's lasting Why? a long because it's lasting a long time. We've only Doesn't been in business kind of over the purpose, two years. Though. We're only two years old though, so most no. people haven't no, you know, worn that. out their look, underwear yet. And it, look, the mission is great, right? What you're trying to do is amazing. We need more of it. Every single product needs to be like this, right? Every every, every single clothing product in particular. But the challenge is when you're that small, right? You have to promote more promote all the things that have to take place in order for the composting to work, right? So I think that's true, Mark. But 
Yes, that is true. And not, yeah, not everybody has access to it. But I will say that somebody who's willing to spend 20 to $24 on one pair or one, why do we call a pair a pair of underwear? Like it's one, I guess because of the legs? I don't know. But one, one garment for 20 to $24, it's underwear. Uh, I could totally see why, like, the people that care are going to care. Um, they're going to go through the, the trouble. Um, and I'm willing to bet that a lot of those people probably already have compostable or compost uh, available to them, whether it's, uh, like, their neighborhood compost, um, you know, like, if you live in a city or if you're, you know, live in the suburbs or rural area, then you're, you know, maybe you'll have your own compost. And, and that, so there is a, a, a segment, a market segment that will respond to that, that the number is kind of sad being at, you know, hundred thousand dollar ish, uh, sales, uh, for the, for the year. And we're in like September now. So, it, you know, it's, it's, it's not great. I mean, they'll probably, they probably will hit their 130,000. I mean, I'm sure they're going to hit a lot more than that now that they've been on shark tank, uh, here, but I, I, I think that it is a, it is a challenge, um, going back to like understanding the customer, understanding the marketing of it. Uh, the, the people understand it's a, it's a high quality product and, uh, I love the fact that they have their own compostable thing and yeah, people People won't do that now, but we are we are like at a crossroads in everything that we do and challenging everything. Like I, you know, I live in Jersey, right? So here in Jersey, uh, we we stopped doing the plastic bag thing, right? So you can't do plastic bags uh, here anymore when you go to the store. So you either got to bring your own bag or you got to buy one of their bags. And the you know, like our our local uh, supermarket is starting to do like a. a a recycle program because we're just getting overrun by all these bags when we do our, our pickups uh, from there. They just bring everything out in bags, and it's like, okay, well, now we have all these bags, and we're finding uses for these bags. Uh, but I don't want these these uh, cloth or vinyl bags or whatever they're made out of uh, to wind up, or nylon bags or, or whatever, to wind up in a landfill. So uh, they got to have a way to, to re- you know, to bring them back and and because they're basically barely used to begin with. Um so, you know, you, you take that and you look at the straws changing from plastic straws to paper straws, uh, utensils, you know, moving towards less plastics. We, we saw the uh, the incredible spoon, uh, which I did a review of here on the channel. If you haven't checked it out, go go to the channel homepage and scroll down Shark Tank product reviews. <coughs> and so things like that, I, I think we just need to start to, like, change how things are you know initially are people wanting to send on their used underwear through the mail no but i think that over time you know you 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 can start to change those habits and change your way of thinking Uh, another way of change the thinking uh is with an electric car right you don't have to go and fill up your car every day uh you just you know you charge at your house you charge at work you, you maybe use a tesla supercharger or some other form of charger on the road and you're you're charging for what you need not necessarily to get full Right. Uh, so it's, it's just a, it's a mind, uh, mindset shift that has to happen in a lot of different ways. And all those little reductions, uh, do start to add up and hopefully we can, uh, ward off, uh, climate change and 10 foot rising seas and such. Maybe. But I also think like the, t- the take back program is so that we can make good, at, you know, to say, hey, if you live in a city, right. you don't have a backyard. But anyone with a backyard, anyone that lives on a farm, Jeff, what, are your, what are your right margins now? today? No, yeah. wait, we tried to do a compost here at the house and it did not go so well. It ended up with lots of ants and things in it. We were using a, a Rubbermaid container. container. Um, probably if you're going to do it, I would get like the compost, like those big black dome looking things would probably do a lot better but uh did not last long for us here at the house and i kept like pushing for my wife to like put it as far away from the house as possible so we didn't end up with extra you know extra ants and extra bugs uh coming close to the house even though it's convenient to be like oh i got a banana peel let me just you know heave it right outside the door or whatever are you making any money 
We are about at break even right now. We're running a, at about a, a ninety-nine thousand in sales. You're mm -hmm. breaking even. You're not paying. Well, no, but we're, this is we haven't hit Q4 yet, which is a, the lion's share Why of our volume. So we're on pace to do five hundred thousand. Why? Five hundred thousand. Because we're doing Nordstroms, we're launching men, and we're also going to T-shirts. I think you're, you know, I think you're, I think that's very, I think that's very, I promise. Guys, I'll clear the deck, right? I think it's a great idea, a great product. I think at your size, it's really going to be hard to convey what needs to be done in order for the composting to work. So for those reasons, I'm out. I think you're, I think you're, and that's somebody who's already invested in a composting company. Wow, that's, that's, that's rough. I'm losing, Mark. Listen, I got, I got, I gotta be realistic about you. Like your numbers, you're saying that you're worth four million. You're making underwear for eight fifty and selling for twenty four. The average American cannot afford that, and you do not have the sales to say that this is really that. So unfortunately, this is another compost deal. I'm out. Uh, here's my offer. I'm gonna give you. I'm not gonna give you a greedy one, but it's aggressive. I'm gonna give you two hundred thousand dollars for twenty percent. Whoa. Oh. Hey, Jeff, you know what? Okay, so that's uh, that's a thing. So Shark, you know, we're Shark Tank Live, uh, doing something something neat here, something different. Um, you know, I I I I, I think Barb's offer uh, of twenty percent. I think she's in line. She's in line. You know, a million dollars. They're they're if you know they do five hundred thousand this year. They're breaking even at a hundred thousand so far. Um, it, you know, if they could pull off five hundred thousand, I mean, that's a lot of underwear they got to sell. And look, there's you know the big competitors out there, right? The big the big shops. And I wonder if the plan is for them to get bought up. Uh, you know, like the fruit of a loom, uh, the, of fruit of loom, fruit of the loom, whatever it is called, uh, and and the Under Armors of the world uh, take on, you know, this basically buy, just swallow them up, because I don't think. I also nobody's asked what can you get your uh, your like what's your customer acquisition cost and uh, or CAC and what uh, can you get the cost of your underwear down to because. Yeah, I mean eight dollars and seven cents, and you're selling it for like twenty four. It's it's probably I don't know what the markup is on like underwear specifically, but that's that's going to be tough for retailers to sell at twenty four dollars um, because that your cost is eight dollars, so you're going to sell it to them for sixteen, hopefully, and not like twelve. But you're probably selling it to them for twelve, so you're only making four dollars uh on on a pair of underwear it the, the math is not going to work in your favor especially when you start talking you start figuring out what it costs to acquire a customer that's into composting at least initially um yeah that's that's tough i mean i feel like if you were going to do a marketing like ploy on it like get people in the composting get paired up with 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 whoever makes composting uh kits and things of that nature uh get paired up with farmers uh like farming equipment or far like not big farming equipment but like you know chicken people who have chickens or people who have uh small farm animals uh even at their like house i mean there's a couple houses around me that have uh small farm like chickens and things like that my boy dre shout out to dre uh he's, he's got a whole bunch of chickens in his uh at his house now so uh it's you know, I feel like you get you team up with those people. You might actually have something on your hands to to be able to get into their pockets uh, with something that's compostable. But again, if the underwear lasts that long, is it really that important that it's compost compostable? Uh, compostable? I can't speak. <laughs> Two shots are out. Stacy and Jeff have one offer on the table for their compostable underwear company, Kent. But Robert wants to know how often does America buy new underwear? The results are in. 54% of our every home year viewers or two. polled buy new underwear every year or two. Every year or two? That's wow. a lot of volume, wow. guys. <laughs> Stacy. I don't. I don't. Stacy, yeah. I'm a big believer in an entrepreneur. Uh, let me ask you this. Why should I or any of the sharks invest in you? So when I started this company, I was told no by everybody. People said that this product could not be made in general or could not be made in America. And this was something that I believed in so personally because myself, my friends, women needed this product. And I was in relationships in the past with someone who didn't believe in me. I eventually met Jeff who did believe in me. Aww. And we have put 
all of our kind of evenings, weekends, vacations Good are, we've guys. bootstrapped this business. Good for you, yeah. So. <laughs> Stacey, Jeff, I know how hard it is to start a business, and I'm not going to say no to you today. Because okay. I believe in what you guys have built. You're not getting enough credit. 99,000 in sales, half a million this year. Let's go, baby. Yeah. All right, here's my offer. Here we go. And Greedy like Barbara over there. Fifteen percent. I will give you the two hundred thousand for fifteen percent because mm -hmm. I believe in you guys. All right. Because I'm not greedy. Remember when we were asking for five? Let me just clear the field here. Two hundred thousand or five percent imputes a four million valuation. That's insane. So, I love your Kumbaya story. I hate your valuation. Our valuation is based on an eight X multiple. I'm out. Okay. All right, All right. Kevin, thank you. Do you guys have a patent on this? So we went the trade secret route Good because smart. we are a fashion product with multiple trade products. Secret. All right, in our all right. Listen, I was gonna give you an offer, but I've changed my mind. All right. If you, if, if you can do this with t-shirts, I'm in because t-shirts yes. I think are bigger than underwear. I'm gonna offer you two hundred thousand for fifteen percent, same as Whoa. him. Whoa. I would not have expected Lori to offer a to get back in, but but uh, unless she just wants a piece of the action because it's this is live and all um but for and and only that 15 percent i i'm very shocked all right so we asked him to go in together guys what are you gonna do what are you gonna do is the there guy will not be upstood i'm gonna give you the same offer as, as the other two shards 15 percent you pick one of us Whoa. Everybody's back you are the fashion guru um when we came here tonight that was a uh, very you were someone we targeted um is there any, you, any combination of sharks that you guys want to work i together? don't need the, i don't need them for where i'm going to take you no you got to make Jeff, it he may be the fashion guru i've done the most investments in fashion on this show since season oh, one. Hey, you know what i've done wow we're gonna check out their website in a second here <laughs> this is awesome. Game and playing it up for the camera. All right, let's check out their website here. So, uh, plants, plant your pants, compostable, com yeah, compostable basics for cuter bums and a cleaner planet. I feel like that's a little, um, inside baseball you know soft on skin gentle like I, I mean you see a picture of underwear i'm curious how the scales like because if we shrink this image does it okay so like on a phone i can well i guess i can kind of tell that it's underwear um anyway cashmere soft plastic free uh they got hipster they got crop tops High waist, thong, bikini. One thing that's not on here is, is anything about Shark Tank. I just refreshed the page to make sure that they didn't update their uh, their page at all. But they got their whole story. Uh, Kent Compostable Briefs. And there's Kent Founder. I guess they, they didn't explain why it's called Kent. It's just, it's just like a, a, like a well, supernatural basic. So I wonder if it's like a Clark Kent type of play is what I'm thinking. But, uh, but very, very cool. Uh, let's see what the price is on like, all right. Men's, which is new briefs, $28. Is that for, that's for one pair, one pair. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and that's, wait, that's just, let's see, large, extra large, two X. Wow. It doesn't matter what size you're getting product in high demand order now and be the first to get the next batch in November, December. Wow. Okay. So I, I, very cool. Uh, if we go high waist, $24. So a little bit cheaper, any diff no price difference, uh, no matter what size you get. So very cool. Let's check out their Instagram. They got 11,900 followers. Let's see if that's still the case. Now 12,000 followers. Uh, and anything on Facebook, they got uh, only 198 on, on Facebook. So not, not much going on there. And they haven't posted much on Facebook either. It's got to be difficult because this is all, you know, being live and not apparently telling, being able to tell anybody that you're going to be on Shark Tank until the moment that it happened. Uh, so 
Yeah. I mean, awesome that you guys, uh, Stacy, Jeff, you got a deal. I'd love to have you come on the show. Just drop a comment down below. Uh, like Temi here says, really enjoyed your videos. I've binged at least 10 of them uh, since I discovered your channel this morning. That is awesome. Thank you so much for being a part of the super community. I'll see you in one of these two videos over here because we got some more Shark Tank live here, here on the Joe Pardo Show. Take care and Kobe super.